I'm with Anne Peat of Chorley... Croston, no, Croston. Croston in Let's get it right. Croston in Bloom. Mm-hmm. And you've got a fabulous show garden here. Just tell us how all this came about. And I can see a sign here. Croston together. Turn off the TV. Leave the house. Get to know your neighbour. Greet them with a smile. That's yes. what caught... This is the first place I came to, actually, when I arrived here this morning. Right. And it just caught my eye. I saw one of your colleagues, and he kindly gave me uh, one of your packs yes. there and said, take this away. Uh-huh. And so how did all this come about? Right, well, they, the Croston Together is the Charter of Croston, and it's, it's grown out of the flooding disaster that we had in Boxing Day 18 months yeah, ago. Yeah, a couple of years ago, couple wasn't it? 18 ago, yeah. months ago, yeah. 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 Yes. Um, and it was a need to get down on paper or somehow the community spirit that yes. arose out of that so yes. that we don't lose it and so that people understand what it meant to be in the village yeah. so uh, the, we put down all the things that people did then that we felt sort of showed what we are as a village as a community so um, it's all it's been to various organisations and they've all added their bit to it and we've made changes and that so we've now got what we call the final draft <laughs> and this is your charter then it's a charter yeah, yeah. and so it's, it's, it's what the visit it's what the village aspires to be yes yes yeah. yeah and they're getting there of course yes so people do turn off the tv yeah, well i hope so yes they do yes. you know what i was i was back in my hometown of shrewsbury in shropshire a couple right. of couple of weeks ago yeah. and i went around a walk around the estate uh, where i grew up and i remember when i grew up there loads of kids in the street mm-hmm. on their bikes and I had a walk around for must have been an hour mm-hmm. and I didn't see a soul <laughs> uh, and it was very sad yeah. I thought yeah. very very sad mm. so the fact that you're doing something like this mm. is mm. is brilliant isn't yes. it really it's about recognizing what happened but then making sure that it remains that way and yeah. making so sure out of a disaster that. Yeah. like that yeah. some yeah. good is yeah. coming something comes. and who's so, built uh, this display because it looks dis- absolutely fantastic yeah. these are cosmos. cosmos i grow these in my garden yes. of course well that's uh, the flower of croston um, we, we adopted the flower last year. Right. Croston in Bloom as a group adopted it yes. uh, and asked everybody to try and include it in their gardens or in their planters or yes. wherever um, because we felt it's, it's the flower that most resembles what Croston is so it's easy to look after, easy to care for. Anybody can grow it. You don't have to be a, a really keen gardener. Um, and, and people took it on board and, and you could see it all around the village. <laughs> and there's some photographs at the back of the stand here, yes, isn't there? Yes. And it looks fantastic. There. Yes, yes. It's so been, uh, anybody out there, take a little Sunday drive to yes. Croston. So and many people say, I know Croston because I drive through it to Southport. Well, please stop. Stop. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Make sure you awful, stop. There's an awful lot more. There's got to be some lovely nice pubs places. there. You yes. can have some meals. Six pubs. Six pubs. Uh, a now nice we're Indian, talking. a lovely cafe, a nice Italian. So there's plenty to do. There's everything plenty there. Plenty to see. Yep. Oh, that's terrific. Yep. And mm-hmm. somebody tells me I'm out Croston in Bloom. Yep. So you've got, is it Britain in Bloom? Britain in Bloom, yes. Is that this coming week? It's this that's Friday. Happening? Yes, we, um, we've been entering Northwest in Bloom for 22 years now. Uh, the last four years we've won gold. And the last two years we've actually come top. Uh, and Fantastic. this is the second time that they've put us forward for Britain in Bloom, which is a very prestigious competition. Yes, so, yes. yes, and they're judging that on Friday. Well, all the very Fingers best crossed. of <laughs> luck to you. No Thank doubt you. you put a terrific amount of effort we in. certainly have. We've got some wonderful new projects this year. We've Good. got some lovely new volunteers on board, and we've really worked hard. It's been a very, very positive year. Terrific, terrific. Mm-hmm. And you've enjoyed the show? You've had time to get out and yes, have a look at yourself? Yes, we've, we've taken it in turns, and we've all been out and had a wander around. It's and brilliant, isn't it? I might to Carol catch Carol Klein earlier she came and had a photograph taken with us good um, but good. Uh, it's it's been very nice a lovely atmosphere as well and the rain's kept off it has surprisingly I know yes, take no notice all our waterproofs. I know me as well <laughs> when I woke up this morning it was a bit dull yes and it was raining yes and I thought oh no this is not going to be good because I couldn't come yesterday no. but it's turned out absolutely yes, brilliant yes, isn't it absolutely lovely okay well great. thank you very much Anne for spending the time and good luck for this week thank you I'm sure it's going to be another gold Thank you. Thank you very much. You take care. Bye-bye now. So I'm now in the walled garden of Astley Hall. And it's just like a little oasis here at the moment. Because after all the hustle and bustle of the show, and you can probably hear the loudspeaker now calling for the next talk, um, in the walled garden with all the 
fruit trees, lovely apples growing, and the cottage garden area, the vegetable garden area, just at the back of the lovely Astley Hall, and it's just a little calm oasis out of all the hurly-burly of the Chorley Flower Show itself. Well, this is about the end of my visit here. It's been a wonderful experience yet again, and I really can't wait until it all happens again next year.